Hey everyone, welcome to today's Review Tuesday. Now, some of you may have seen me use these in passing in other tutorials, notably when I have done a bail. Um, so this is kind of a, not exactly a review, because obviously you've seen me use them, so it kind of gives you a, a, an idea there straight off what my opinion of them is. But um, I really wanted to, one, show you what they are, two, why and three, because I've done uh, an intermediate and a beginner's bracelet and I want to do an advanced and in order to do an advanced, this is a tool you're going to need. So, you know, spoiler alert, this is going to be, yes, get it, but um, <laughs> you don't need it, but I really wanted to show you it. So it's called a gizmo coil machine. Um, a lot of them come with a stand. Sorry, this one's been oxidized just because I've had it for so long. Um, some of them depending on where you buy them from and how much they are so this one was just two that came with it um and this was i think it was under five pounds um it may have even been like at the four pound mark if i recall correctly plus uh postage so be aware of that obviously because we are dealing with metal the second one i got had more uh sizes as options so you can obviously do more with different gauges that way um, and then make thicker coils uh, and it also came with a clamp now if you're doing desk work this is useful if you're not um, this one's easier uh, especially because I like to do this in bed and um, without the clamp obviously that makes it a lot easier uh, I do also have the professional version, if anyone's interested in me reviewing that and showing you all about that then comment below. But these are the two basic ones that are available, this one's usually around the £10 mark, this one's usually around the £5 mark. Um, I got both because um, obviously it's better to have the different options. Now, um, like I say, you only get two sizes with the uh, cheaper one and the thinnest is still thicker than most of our wire so that is a downside if you intend on using these just to cover the wire itself so you know when i say just do single wraps over a wire so if you look at the kaya's tutorial or the ghost or any of those where we just did a lot of single loops on the wire and i mentioned if you had a gizmo coil it'd probably be quicker just to have that um the thickness of it would um be thicker than the wire so this one is better then because you've got more sizes however however even still this is still thicker and it's also incredibly short which is another issue however you can if you so choose and you're you know technologically minded you can use these to create a longer one and just use your wire itself as the frame um, I'm pretty sure I saw a tutorial on that so I'm going to link that below when I find it. I'm not going to do that today because the whole setup and I'd have to move the whole camera and I'm not doing that because it'll take a lot of energy and you guys, um, like I said, I'll just link another person who's done it below because it would be a lot easier for you to follow than me trying to explain it. Uh, so let's uh, get to the point I'm trying to make which is showing you how to use a gizmo coil. I'm going to use the biggest mandrel to begin with so I'm going to move all the other ones out of the way like so you get lots of different sizes and we'll just use our trusty 0.3 wire okay I'm going to move all this lot out of the way get all the dust off here as well it's been in my drawer for a while so everything got a little dusty there so to begin with you um, attach your wire around This is just because you don't want it obviously slipping off and I usually do a wrap or two just to get started. You don't have to do that, I just think it makes it a bit easier. This is great for 0.6 wire. I might also add, um, so what you want to do is hold the wire, I'm going to be going off the reel. Hold the wire, hold the, well everything and then you start weaving. You want to make sure that the wire doesn't go over itself. And basically you just coil it. It's that simple. And then you get a coil. 
So that's the largest one I'm going to show you because obviously this is larger and that's a thinner gauge wire the coil is able to come loose. If you wanted a thicker one you'd be better using a 0.8 or a 1mm. It's one, something I wanted to show you to begin with so I'm going to pick a different size now. I'm going to go with one of the smaller ones. Again this is too large for um, so for the thickness of our standard wires but obviously it's still thin and uh, this is better the thinner ones are better for the thinner gauges I mean you can obviously use a different wire if you want to but we're not going to do that right now and again you start the wrapping and I always hold the wire while I'm wrapping because it helps to make sure it doesn't go over itself it can very easily do that so just be aware um, and yeah once you get kind of used to it you get to the point like this where you barely even have to hold it so it's actually really easy uh, rather than doing all those single coils that you've had to do on the other tutorials you can just do this and then put it on the wire and there you have it it's just a case of going for as long as you need it to be um, actually you know what I'm going to keep doing that because I want to show you how to do a double gizmo coil and we'll need a bit more length in order to do that so I'll just fast forward this bit now we want to do a double coil we need to put wire through okay and then we're going to attach this to the coil as well uh, not the coil the mandrel okay I'm just gonna going to do those couple of first coils as I mentioned last time okay we're going to put it into the mandrel now this is different because we need to actually hold the wire below and the coil itself as well as everything else so it's a little bit more difficult and what you want to do is kind of pull it but make sure that it can't move so this is where and don't pull it too much because you need the coil to actually start to unravel a little bit and not actually open up on the spring so just be aware of that and you just do this nice and slowly you can feed a little bit of the inner wire through if you can see me doing that there and let it start to move like that Okay, I'm just going to stop this here. I'm going to cut that bit there because I don't need it. Hold. Okay, there we go. And then do a few more wraps so that it doesn't come loose at any point. And there you have your double gizmo coils. Which are actually really cute. And I like them a lot. I like to use them in different bits of jewellery. Um, now you can do this on wire yourself. Do all the individual wraps and then once you've got the coil, wrap it over in the same way that we just did there. But you just have to hand wrap it rather than do it with the machine. However, as you noticed, that was a lot quicker. So from the point of view of energy and time and dexterity, that is your better option. So I do definitely recommend getting a gizmo coiler. Now I mentioned earlier about using different gauges so I thought I would do that as an example so I'm just going to take this off here, let's just cut that straight off because it's in the way, okay and then so that does keep its shape but obviously the difference between them in that 
the thinner it is obviously it's stronger I can squish this if I want to which isn't exactly good for wire you don't really want to be able to do that so I'm going to take a different gauge I'm just going to use what I've got to hand over that here 0.8 okay so let's move these out of the way I'm going to be using sorry my desk's just getting I've got the fan on in the background so everything's kind of blowing in the way so we're going to attach this again same way that we've done previously wrap 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 and then I always do a couple just to make sure it's nice and secure you don't have to do that I've just found that it's easier for me personally oh and if you can um, have the reel set like this so that it can unravel by itself obviously on my desk that's not possible so um, I can't do that but if you guys can then do so it's easier just to do it straight off the reel you're not going to be having to cut the wire until you actually need to cut it okay and then we'll just do our coil here make sure the wire isn't getting kinked as it's feeding through okay and I'll just do that much for now cut it off And there you can see there's a big difference between using a thinner gauge and a thicker gauge on the mandrels if you were to try and wrap it around one of the thinner ones you have a lot of issues because it's obviously you know, I'll just show you guys rather than being like telling you it's easier to witness it isn't it so it is possible but it just takes a lot more fighting the wire and you don't really want to, have to fight wire so I'll just put those two next to each other for comparison if you look at that one like I can put weight on that this one just folds under the pressure okay and then put this in here uh, which way are we wrapping is it the opposite way this time Come off. Okay, make sure it's definitely attached to the thing before you start. Let's come back over here and do that again. Okay, so as you can see, it is doing it, but even the mandrel itself is struggling so it's taking a lot more effort and a lot more dexterity on my part and I'm having to fight the wire whereas obviously on the other ones it was easy and quick and I was just literally like oh, no, no. whereas this one it's taking a bit more effort so it can be done it's just not as easy for you guys to do let's um, cut all this little So there you have it, that's uh, another one of your coils and like I say these are really simple to do, really easy and um, it's just a lot quicker having this mandrel and in the advanced bracelet tutorial that is coming up, if you're watching this obviously a couple of weeks from now or a few days from now it probably will be up already so go and check my uh, videos and it will be there and I'll link it in the description below as well um, so yeah. I'll probably end up using this quite a bit in future in future tutorials because I want to be able to show you guys not only how to use tools but obviously how you can advance further in your jewellery making. So that's it for this review Tuesday and obviously for the Mandrel I think it's more coiling. Uh, machine I definitely recommend it like I said before if you do want to see the professional version and my opinions on that then please do 
um, comment below. Otherwise, if you could give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to support me, that would be amazing. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys soon. Okay, love you. Bye.